There's no denying that the Detroit Lions need to get better at cornerback. It's a position that we were very light on last year with the uh, injury to Emmanuel Mosley. We had Jerry Jacobs, and we had to result and rely on Kendall Vildor, who played well for who he is and where he was drafted, being undrafted. So he did exactly what we expected him to do. But the Detroit Lions have an opportunity with the cap space that they have to increase and get a true number one cornerback. I don't think Cam Sutton is that is is it especially with the lack of a pass rush that the Detroit Lions have. I do believe that Cam Sutton will be better with a stellar pass rush, which is something he had in Pittsburgh. He does not have that here in Detroit. So it accentuated his deficiencies, if you will. But we have an opportunity to really upgrade at that position and many others when it comes to the Detroit Lions. And we talked about Legereus Sneed, which crazily, that video tanked. I don't really understand. Sometimes y'all are hard to figure out. But Jeremy Fowler, man, he's been dropping nuggets today, and he mentioned that there's two particular teams that could be that could be on the hunt for Legereus Need. Here's what he had to say. This is coming from ESPN.com. It says cornerback was a popular position of discussion in Indy, most notably for the trade market. And we know the Chiefs are working on a potential tag and trade with a, with Legereus Need, and multiple teams are believed to be in the mix. The word out of Indy is that Detroit is pretty set on adding a high-end corner, so the Lions are one to watch. Miami is worth keeping an eye on, too. Several teams believe Saints corner Marshawn Lattimore, this is a bonus, whose base salary is a paltry $1.2 million due to a restructure, is also available via a trade. There's an intriguing, there and there's intrigue on the Bucks cornerback Carlton Davis the third. Now, let's focus on... Legereus need for a minute. Remember last year, around the same time, we were hearing stuff about Jalen Ramsey, and y'all are like, no, nah, there's no way that happens. We're not going to do that. And then it comes out that the Detroit Lions were in the, just like the Neil Hunter and all that stuff, they were in the market. They were in the hunt for Jalen Ramsey. And like I said to begin this video, he basically shot that down and uh, said that. He didn't want to go there. He wanted to go. He They let him essentially pick where he wanted to go. I get that. He helped them win a title. I get that. We did the same thing with Matthew Stafford. So there is some truth into this. Jeremy Fowler's been doing this a long time, and you start to hear rumblings at the comp. The combine is like a huge gathering of information, and that's another reason I think it happens. You have the pajama warriors, and then you have uh, – People may be increasing their draft stock a little bit, but I think it's more for the interview purposes in the draft, and I think it's also for a lot of ex execs and reporters and insiders to gain information as we lead during that two weeks up to free agency. So I believe that there is some truth to this. Now, here's the thing about the tra the tag and trade with Legereus Need. The... Okay, so the Kansas City Chiefs have not officially tagged Legereus need like they said they have but it has not been okay you have been tagged all right but they pretty much have it's just not official so what they want to do is they want to do a tag and trade so they don't want to release them they don't want to let them get it they don't want to let them go for nothing if you're going to come get this guy we're going to tag him and we're going to make you give up some capital but they're allowing that to happen now here's my thing if the Detroit Lions were to do this do this then that means that they there has to be some type of extension in place because there's no way that Brad Holmes is going to trade for someone of this that's going to require this much capital, both with finances and draft, for a one-year deal. So that means that he would come here. I don't know what we would have to give up for Legereus Sneed, right? And then he would come here, get another two- or three-year deal for the, with the Detroit Lions. That will leave us with Legereus Sneed for three years probably, Cam Sutton with the, for another two. We have him. And then whatever cornerback we're going to take in the draft. Now, as far as Marshawn Lattimore, he's intriguing because from depending on what website you read from, they say that basically a Marshawn Lattimore trade wouldn't be likely until after free agency and the NFL draft more closer to the start of the season because of how his cap is structured with the post June 1st and all that other stuff. So he's a an intriguing prospect as far as trading for. He's got that familiarity with Dan Campbell and Dan, and Aaron Glenn, and it's possible, but that would mean that we would already have gone through free agency, we would already have gone through the draft, 
and then we would have to take a chance on Marshawn Lattimore, who I think is going to come back fully healthy. He he hasn't played since like November or something. I want to say, I believe it was the middle of November, somewhere around there, he hasn't played. So he had a, a ankle situation. He should be 100%, in my opinion, by the time the season began. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments below, which one would you want out of LeJarrius Need and Marshawn Lattimore? Um I'm not sure the ages of, of Legarius. Let me see if they, what is he? He will, he will be, wow, he's 27. And Marshawn Lattimore is younger. I believe he's 25 or 26. So either one, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. But this is intriguing. And I'm telling you, man, there is some truth to this stuff. It might not pan out, but there is some truth to this stuff. It, it really is. When these little, like that's the whole point of this, if you ask me. Why is the NFL relevant all year round? Because there is some intriguing kind of suspense. Like there are things that are definitely in play. And from Debo Samuel getting traded to the Detroit Lions under Brad Holmes first year to, you know, even this Amon Ross St. Brown, the contracts extensions being done. We're just waiting on the announcement. So a lot of this stuff has a lot of merit to it. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you to all my subscribers and members. This, this channel is really possible by members and viewers just like you. So thank you very much. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.